Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2024 video tutorial. Today I want to show you how to get a start model or template like this. I've got a new empty part and I have already 10 empty solids or bodies. So how to do that? Let's take a look at it. So let's start with an empty part, a new and empty part. The problem is to create an empty solid or body. And this method will not work in most of the parasolid based programs. But here it does. So let's go for a sketch. It doesn't matter on which plane. Then do a closed profile. It doesn't matter what you choose. I go for a circle and let's make it 50 millimeter in diameter. Okay, go for finish sketch and let's make an extrude, maybe 10 millimeter and confirm. Now I want to reuse the same sketch. In order to do that, you can make it visible or you could share the sketch. Doesn't really matter because if it's visible, it will be shared automatically if you use it once more. So let's go for another extrude, go for a cut, make 10 millimeter and confirm. And now you've got an empty solid apart from that sketch. So now save this part as, let's say, base for multibody. So I go for save and save this as Inventor 24 base for multi-body. Save and we can close it. Now make another new part. And then we can derive the solid from the base multi-body. So go for derive, select the part, open, and bring in just the solid, not the sketch. It should be, of course, maintain each solid as solid body, that's okay. And just confirm. And we've got an empty solid here. And let's add one more. Again, exclude the sketches, confirm, and we've got another the solid here. And I want to repeat that process eight times. So I got 10 bodies in all. I will stop the recording and proceed after I've derived eight more solids. So now I've derived 10 times the same solid over and over again. Now we have to break the link to, to the original part. So let's go there, right click, and we want to break the link with the base component. And again, do this for all those solids. So you have to do this only once because afterwards you can use that template. Now let's save this one as well and call this one Inventor Base for Multi and call this Multi Body and give it a number 10 Multi Body. So let's go there. Okay, and close this one. Now, I don't want to have 10 broken links in my part. So I go for another new part. And now derive from that 10 multibodies, the 10 bodies. So go for derive, go for the 10 multibodies, open, 
bring in all the solid bodies, maintain each well solid as solid body, and confirm. That's OK, and confirm. And now we've got 10 bodies. Next, you want to break the link, of course. So go for break link with base component. And now we can save this one here as multi-body start model or template. So go to File, go to Save As, Save Copy as Template. Let's go to our DE, DE folder, go to Metric and save it there as multi-body the start. Save. Yes. Now we can just close this one. And if you go now for a new part, you see we've got that multibody start IPT selected, created, and we have a new and empty part with 10 empty solids. And I will do one of my favorite exercises with just that start model to show you the benefits of such a start model. But this will be another video. So I hope this was helpful. hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Twitter and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.